getting a wrap of my face and putting it on my car. Good morning, you guys, and good morning, neighbors. Goodness, my goodness, some wide open spaces in the morning. Good for the soul. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to the channel for the continuation of Project 1LE. I'm not sure what we're gonna call this just yet, but we have our Camaro ZL1 that's slowly making a transformation. But today is a big day because today we are making the decision on what we're gonna be spending quite a few thousand dollars on. And it's right down there, but we're also gonna give you guys a nice little carbon fiber part. But the big decision, which I need your help on, is what we're doing about this wheel and tire setup. So the debate I'm having currently is, number one, we go wider tires on our stock ZL1 wheels, throwing a little spacer in there to give it a better stance. Number two, we can order the 1LE GM wheels, like 3,000 bucks, but you get the 19 inch wheel satin black with the wider width, 11 in the front, 12 in the rear. Or option number three, we can spec out some custom wheels aftermarket and spec them to the 1LE width. The issue there is I'm having a hard time finding 19 inch and they have to be 20 if we go that width. So yes, decisions, decisions. So that's why I'm bringing it up here because I need your help. So what we're gonna do, step number one is go get some milk because it's early in the morning and my kids need milk and I don't have any, so I gotta hurry. What we're gonna do is actually throw some small spacers on the front and rear and see if that does me anything. From there, we're gonna throw a carbon fiber gas cap because carbon fiber. Uh, let's run to the grocery store and grab some milk because my kids aren't very happy right now. Guys, serious question. I've been really, really considering getting a wrap of my face. Call me. Aloha. Alright, Mr. Dallas, in your Mitsubishi Mirage G4. Oh, you make me jealous, bro. Now, if you guys somehow missed last week's video, go check that out because over my shoulder is that massive carbon fiber wing. And my favorite part of it is every time I look at my rearview mirror, that's all I see. I'm not even mad. So step number one, we're gonna get the car up on the quick jacks once again, and I'm not gonna say it, don't say it, don't say it. It's not gonna fall off. I said it, I hope it doesn't fall off. this hot already it's like 8 30 a.m and i swear it's like 95 degrees in the garage already so what we have here is a bunch of goodies we're gonna do this one side at a time driver's side first and then passenger side we'll get the driver's side bolted back up so we can kind of compare the two and i want to say these are small spacers these are very small spacers in the front we're gonna run a five millimeter and in the rear a three millimeter that's tiny but that's gonna allow me additional stance to hopefully push that wheel out where i'm hoping it lands that way when we go bigger tires they'll be flush but we'll find out here in a second so we're gonna do this in the front, but we also have a goodie from GM, which is carbon fiber gas cap. Yes, we're going to a carbon fiber gas cap. I'll show that to you here in a second. But we also have black badges. I wanted to try these, that's why I only bought one for now. Might be too much black, but I really like that matte black ZL1. Here are our spacers. So this is what we are using to push my wheel out a little bit. We have our five millimeter and then our three millimeter. They're, again, they're, they're tiny. This allows us to use our stock lug nuts. Also a big fan of Wild Hammer right now because their shipping is so freaking quick. I ordered this like two days ago where I'm waiting on other parts I've ordered months ago, still waiting. All right, a slight correction to what I said earlier. The fronts technically are the three mil and then the rears are the five mil, but I'm gonna try to switch them. Five mil, it still sits up on the hub, which is really good. 
These wheel spacers are actually advertised as hub centric. They are not hub centric. And looking here in the rear, this is what I mean by not hub centric. You see that big gap between the hub and the spacer? Yeah, that's not hub centric. So these basically sit on the studs, which is not what I really like, which makes me a little uncomfortable. But these are so small, it's not gonna make a huge issue. All right, that is five in the front. Dang, that might be dead on perfect. I think the top of the tire is gonna tuck kind of inside the fender well. It's a lot of negative camber. Driver and then passenger. Well, I think that's the route we're gonna go. We're gonna go five mil in the front, three mil in the rear. Technically that's switched from what they recommend. The rear's already stanced really well. We're gonna push that another three mil out, the front five mil out, and then we'll get all of them bolted up and then drop the car back down and then see where it stands. It's warm. All the spaces are in, guys. Wheels are kind of top down. We're gonna go ahead and drop it down and then actually torque the wheels down correctly. But since the car is up in the air and we've had this exhaust on for about two weeks now, I'm gonna go ahead and retorque the exhaust clamps, make sure they're all good to go because if, as they heat cycle, sometimes they, they come loose. So we'll go ahead and tighten all those down, get the car on the ground and get you guys a good look at actually what this stance is because I hope it's better. And if it is, you might be saving a lot of money. So I love these wheels. I love the wheels. It's just the stance isn't there. The more and more I look at these wheels, the more <laughs> I realize how much I like them. Z01 wheels are probably the best out there. One LE wheels are a lot more, call it toned down. They're satin black, they're five spoke, but they lose a lot of this aggressiveness. These little Y patterns or arrow patterns they have within here. The biggest issue I had was where it stood underneath that fender well, and it's better, but not solved. So only time will tell what we're gonna do with this, but I still need your recommendations below which ones we're gonna go with. Let me know what you think. Is this stance right? Have we hit it? That is so close. But I really like it, guys. I'm looking at this. It's gonna take a little while for me to digest this fully, but I really like where these landed here. These spacers, unfortunately, are not hub-centric, but what's nice about them is they're thin enough for the wheel to actually bolt onto the hub. So actually, the wheel is still mounted like it was from stock, the actual lug nuts on the fronts, even though those are five millimeter, you get seven full turns on the lug nut. If you go like a 10 millimeter, you're probably gonna have some issues, but five, I think you guys are set. Nothing like August in Texas. It is so blazing hot. We're not done yet. We have a carbon fiber piece from General Motors. This one's actually legit GM where that rear wing is Anderson's Composites. It's full carbon fiber though, and it, it matches the one leave perfectly, but this is technically GM. This is a carbon fiber inlay gas cap. And as you can see on the inside, that is carbon fiber, and it's nice and glossy here. And then when you go and compare it to my wing, that's gonna look so good together. And what's cool about this, it's not a sticker. It doesn't stick on to this gas cap. It actually replaces this completely. So we're gonna pull this off, put this in place, and then we'll be done for the day, guys. What do you guys think? I'm stoked with it. It breaks up all the gloss black. There's so much black on this car. We have limo tint in the rear, which is all gloss black. We have essentially black tail lamps. We have black lug nuts. We have black side skirts. We got, it's black everything. So it breaks up the black, 
with more black. It's just essentially matte. So it's a matte black with this carbon inlay. Such a simple little thing, and it's all the little things. A three mil spacer in the rear, a five mil in the front, a carbon fiber gas cap. All the little things make this car, one, unique, but mine. That's the, that's the whole point of this. Everything I do to this car makes it more unique. And one more thing we may do eventually, I'm not sure just yet, do we replace the chrome with a black ZL1 badge? So these are matte black. These would technically match that gas cap. I'm just not sure exactly what I'm going with yet. There's several boxes in that room right there, including a new front splitter, a new grill, canards, all kinds of fun stuff. If you wanna follow along with the ZL1 build, be sure to be subscribed below. Hit that subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new updates. If you wanna see behind the scenes stuff, I'm on Instagram at Lone Star Hawaiian as well. You can follow there, but that's gonna do it. It's hot as heck. We'll see you in a few days for our next video. Until that day comes, y'all take care. Aloha. Nothing.